Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel, You Stride. I hope everyone is staying safe indoors and if you're outdoors, you're wearing your masks or gloves or whatever it is you feel you need to do in order to stay safe. My city, Boston, is not locked down just yet. I'm sure a lot of you are locked down, like New York, San Francisco, etc, etc. But, uh, you know, for us in, in the EUC world and just PEV in general, uh, the best thing so far that has happened is the fact that the roads are pretty clear. There's nothing on the road. There's no one really driving. And for good reason, you know what I mean? So that gives me and us an opportunity to really just ride around um, uninhibited by cars and mostly pedestrians in general. I was able to get like two miles in like six minutes. <laughs> you know, it's, it's beautiful. So I have with me the 84 volt MSX here. Now tomorrow I'm supposed to be getting the MS Pro from eWheels. Check out eWheels.com or the link in the description. Um, if you click the link in the description, that helps me as a channel um, uh, to get a kickback. If you purchase a wheel, then that gives me a kickback at no cost to you. So this is the 84 volt and I haven't been able to sit down to create a formal uh, six month review yet. It's been six months since I've had this and that's given me a lot of time to pretty much uh, let you know how I really feel about this wheel and so far it's exactly how I thought it was gonna be uh, with a few um, cons obviously I'm very harsh on wheels so this one is no exception there are cons but it's cons that I've been able to adapt to and got used to so <clears throat> the pedal I love the pedal um, it could be a lot bigger but for me, it's fine, only because I've ridden the Nicola before. The pads, this was my main concern. This side pads right here. Now, I'm not one to hug the wheel a lot, so I pretty much use it every now and then for high speeds um, to prevent wobbles, as I've, I've showed you guys in another video. Um, basically, what I do is I use one leg, usually my right leg, to hug this part of the wheel so that it you know eliminates any wobbles at high speeds but I barely use this one barely 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 um, what I really like about this wheel is just how sturdy it is it's very sturdy and like I said this is just a quick rundown after six months I'll, I'll dedicate more time a little bit later to create a real review after six months uh, but yeah this wheel is so stable I haven't opened it at all and that just says a lot you know I, I usually at I don't know, since my V5F, I've been opening the wheel for like every several, um, I don't know, weeks, mainly because of things like the light going out, like the little LEDs on the side going out, or something like, I don't know, replacing a tire, but nothing having to do with electronics. And same with this, I haven't had to open this for any reason. The wheel is amazing. I haven't had any punctures yet. This wheel is extremely stable. That's what I like about it. I can throw it left and right, and it's, it's, you know, there is one con though. Um, when I sit down at high speeds, uh, let's say it's very windy or I have a backpack on my back and I'm pre it's pretty heavy, what happens um, is the wheel will rock back and forth. So let me shut it off for a second. Um, let's say um, I go down, I, I sit down and because of the backpack, it's a, it's a bit heavy, right? So I tend to sit down in a little harsh way. But what will happen is it'll, it'll, it won't rock like this, but it'll have a little rock back and forth. Now what's interesting is I've never experienced this. I've never experienced this on the Tesla and I've never experienced it on the Nikola, for example. Could be because the, the, the wheel, like the tire size of the Tesla and the height of the seat was, like a good combination and same thing with the Nikola because I, I sit high on the Tesla and same with the Nikola when my friend added the seat to his his, his wheel I, um, I had a high seating position whereas this one when I add the seat to it even though it's a tall wheel um, it's actually shorter compared to the Tesla once the seat is added to the Tesla so it could be that um, I'm very curious to see how uh, the MS Pro is gonna feel once I uh, sit on it. It's the same form factor, but like I said, this wheel is beautiful in, in its design. It's very thin. On first impression, 
Okay, you see the wheel is pretty much intact. Nothing's wrong with it. All the scratches you see are mainly from me testing new things like going in a pothole and not re not a pothole, but more like a ditch um, in a park. You'll see like a little gutter area where the leaves are and you don't really know how deep it is. So you just throw the wheel in there and it crashes. Um, I did have a significant crash at one point. I'll probably put that in the, um, in the review, the six month review, once I'm done with this but it was pretty significant and that had to do with me not paying attention to the roots on the road and I literally crashed but it was pretty bad damage to my knees too but anyway this thing literally had no scratches <laughs> I was very fortunate because I had just gotten the wheel and um, but everything else is solid like the cap for um, the charger and the USB you know they're pretty solid nothing's come off my Tesla one came off but I simply crazy glued it back on you can see here there's little scrapes okay there's scrapes on the pedal here because I mean if you're a pretty aggressive rider you're gonna be able to scrape this no big deal especially if you're doing sharp turns while at a stoplight or just playing around you're gonna scrape it but it's nothing as significant as the Tesla nowhere near significant as something like a Tesla or even the Nikola the pedals on this is pretty high and I've scratched both sides but nothing crazy nothing significant only at the edge whereas the Tesla I would scrape the entire pedal um, what else can I say about this I don't really lose air pressure a lot um, I've filled up the air probably the tire I filled up the tire probably once or twice just to try different riding PSI's but I've, I haven't had to do that since I bought the wheel <laughs> this wheel is pretty solid so um, another con I can think of is obviously no switch okay so every now and then and I've gotten used to it really um, I pull it up push the button turn it off or turn it off you know and bring it up into my office or inside the house you know it takes me like maybe two seconds to do it okay so the plus and again this is just a short rundown but the plus of this wheel is the fact that it's just fast. It's a very fast wheel. A lot of people don't believe me when I say it's capable of doing 38 miles an hour, 39, even 40 miles an hour. To make it clear, this thing is capable of doing 40 miles an hour, okay? You will crash at 40.1, I'm sorry, 40.7, yeah, 40.1. But I don't recommend riding at 40 miles an hour. This is only the top speed. Okay, it's not the top cruising speed. So 38, 39 miles an hour, no problem. No problem with this wheel. And I've done that riding with my weight being near 197, almost 200. But that's with my backpack with stuff in it, you know what I mean? And I don't recommend riding that speed in the cold, in the wind, or anything like that. Mainly because this wheel hates the cold. Someone told me in the comments once, um, the chemistry um, in the battery tends to you know it, it just it, it feels like it's lagging actually when it's really cold whereas when the temperature is beautiful above 40 degrees this thing flies it flies and achieving 40 miles 38 miles 39 miles an hour is not an issue with this wheel if you know how to ride without wobbles it's not an issue at all but one con I forgot to mention was the torque now, I'm glad I got to test the Nikola because what I <clears throat> noticed about the Nikola is how um, its torque is almost instantaneous. Now, obviously, part of that is because the wheel is 16 inch, but as I've seen in EVX uh, video and, and other videos, for example, but mostly EVX, what he mentioned was how the torque is just amazing, right? Well, I could imagine as I can get up to 38 miles an hour on this, I, I haven't done an acceleration test. I've been trying to figure out the best way to do that, but it takes me no time to achieve 38 miles an hour on this. Now, could you imagine how much faster that would be on an MS Pro? Now, the MS Pro has a, MS Pro has a bigger motor, and I believe the cutoff is like 48. The cutoff, the freewheel cutoff speed of this is 45. So I, can, I imagine the MS Pro will be able to do 40 as well, but we'll see. Um, I'm not trying to break the guy's wheel, break the wheel sent to me by e-wheels, but we'll have, a, we'll have a chance to see that in 
a few days. Um, I love the lights because at night, you know, I like how it flashes. I'm not a fan of, of this mode right here. Hold on. I'm not a fan of this mode, <laughs> the colorful ones, but I, I, I like the other settings. Um, but anyway, guys, this is just a quick rundown. Any questions you have, you have any questions you may have for me, ask them in the comment. And um, another thing I have to mention is this right here is pretty bad. Okay, so as you can see, it's pretty bad. It's like it's like they should have what they should have done was uh, print, created more plastic going down here, so there's more support. But if you can see, it's it's the, the the trolley handle stops right here, so there's very little support. You know what I mean? But anyway, um, part of the reason it's loose too is because I let one of my friends uh, come near it, and he was so excited to see it. He just picked it up with the handle because I had it sticking out, and it literally did a burnout because it was still on. So don't let anybody near your wheel if they don't know about it. <laughs> I'm so happy he didn't break it. But um, overall, this wheel is amazing. Now, in my opinion, who is it made for? I think this wheel is made for anyone below 200 pounds, to be honest with you. It doesn't mean that you can't ride it above 200 pounds. I'm sure if you go to evils.com, um, not that I think they're selling it anymore, but you can check. Um, the specs does say above 200 pounds, but ideally, if you're going to be an aggressive rider, don't, you know, and you're weighing over 200 pounds, I don't recommend this. Uh, riding in soft mode will definitely, um, uh, sh it'll, it'll pretty much show you what I mean. Because in soft mode, what you do is, anyway, let's stop that. This will be for another video. So, yeah, this is a great wheel. So, I just wanted to create this quick video right now before I put, it, put in time to create a real review after six months. And I, I, I just wanted to say, this wheel does do... 40 miles an hour, but I don't recommend 40 cruising. 38 to 39 cruising is fine. It's no big deal. I don't recommend this wheel for anyone over 200 pounds who is an aggressive rider. But if you're just a straight man type of rider, look at my video on what straight man is. But if you're that type of rider, stiff leg, straight man, someone who's not really aggressive, this wheel is fine. You can 300 pounds, so what? You're not going to be pushing it beyond its limits. But if you're someone who's aggressive, and you're above 200 miles an hour, I'm, and you're above 200 pounds, um, I don't recommend this wheel for you at all. Definitely a wheel with more torque would do well for you in the same form factor, because this is the ideal wheel for anyone who's looking for an aggressive uh, riding style. It's just well balanced. It's just, it's boxy, and a lot of people don't like that, but it's just perfect all around, okay? So that's just a quick little tidbit review for now. And if I didn't cover anything in this short clip, mention it in the comments. And guys, stay safe out there. Um, I just created a little video for you today. I hope you enjoy it. Take care.